Good morning guys, this is Jonathan with Bob CNC. Welcome to Getting Started. So you finally got your machine put together and you're ready to start your first project. So today we're going to go over and we're going to do some simple text and then we're going to take it to our machine so we can get our first carve started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go up here to settings and we want to select the machine that we're going to use. Today we're going to be using the Evolution 4. It has a x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis length right here. This will be the dimensions that the machine can cut. Next we have our start G code and our end G code. Now this is more of an advanced feature, so down the line if you want to do your own custom program, then you can set up to add certain uh, G codes into it, but we're not going to cover that today. We're going to hit save. Next we want to make a project width and project length. This will be the size of the wood that you're going to be using. So I want mine to be about 7, and I'm going to use that 15. And that's going to create this little thing down here. It's just a visualizer, so it's, you know, if we have wood that's a certain size, and make sure that we're going to get our lettering in there. We're going to get centered where we want it. So next we're going to go, we're going to create some text. Here you have different fonts that you can choose from. I'm going to choose this one. Next you have your font size. Now this is going to be in millimeters. So I want my font to be, let's, let's say, 40 millimeters. Next, you have your spacing. This is going to be the spacing between each one of those letters. I want that to be about two. So next, we're ready to type in what we want to say. And hit create. So now I have my text. Now the first thing I want to do is I want it to be kind of centered in my workpiece. So I'm going to go over here to my scale, move, and position tool. And I'm going to position it. Now here you can either position it on the left, on the center, or on the right. I want it to be directly in the center of my workpiece, so I want it to be 7.5 in that direction, and I want it to be 3.5 in that direction. And it's going to center it right in the center of our workpiece. So from here now we can go and we want to select it. Now what we can do from here is we want to create an operation to actually cut this out. So we're going to go over here and add create new operation. I'm going to select an operation. You have various different operations. I want the CNC pocket. What this is going to do is it's going to cut on the inside of the lettering and take out all of the material. Over here you have different bit sizes that are all in decimal. So I want to be I'm going to be using an eighth inch end mill. So I'm going to select eighth inch, and you have your default parameters. Uh, down here, this is where my cut depth final, this is how deep I actually want the tool pass to go. And I only want it to go about 20 thousandths. So I'm going to input that, oops, 20 thousandths, and hit apply and preview tool path. It's going to calculate it. Now from here, we're going to generate that G code, and this is going to be the actual G code that the, it's going to send to the machine. Hit create and it's going to create this right here. Now, after that, once we have that, then we can save it. Go ahead and give it a name. And hit save. And it's going to save it on the online version. It's going to save it to your downloads folder. And then from there, then we'll go open up our basic sender and we're going to open up that G code file and send it to the machine. Now that we have our bit in our router and our workpiece is clamped down, next we need to set our zero point. This is the reference point from which all that lettering is going to be cut. So we have to set it to the corner of that workpiece so that the machine knows where the workpiece is at. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to jog down just with my Z just a little bit. Now I'm going to jog my X up a little bit. You want to put it right on the lower left bottom corner of your workpiece. I need to move my Y up just a little bit and move my Z down. Move my X up a little bit. 
Now I'm going to lower my speed because what you want to do for your Z is you want it to where it's just barely scratching the surface. So I'm going to bring my Z down a little bit until it's just barely touching. Now from here we need to set the zero. So I'm going to set the zero on the X, I'm going to set the zero on the Y, and then I'm going to set the zero on the Z. Now from here, we can then, I like to go ahead and rehome the machine to where it gets it out of the way. So when you start a program, it goes right to it. We don't have any problems, it doesn't hit anything. Next thing we want to do is we want to open up our G-code file that we saved from earlier. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on the file and hit open. And now the next thing we want to do is we will turn on the router and we will click play. And there you have it, we have successfully completed our first carve. Please see the rest of our videos as we try to explore some of the features in Basic Cam, and we will see you next time.